Hi there, I'm making a part 2 XV3080 XV5080 comparison video today and I'm doing this for two reasons. First of all, obviously to give you a couple more examples like in the first part to compare the sound of the two and uh, the second reason is that I just sold both of these units and in the first part I was talking about the value dial giving me trouble not behaving correctly and I just wanted to show that this problem is absolutely solved I um, I, I, I don't know uh, what it was that uh, that made it all work out in the end but as you can see maybe I'm going to zoom in a little on the 5080 here so that you can exactly that you can see exactly what it is that I'm doing moving the dial to the right you can see when I move it a little faster the value is always increasing just like it should moving it to the left the value is always decreasing and uh, this problem might have been solved after I um, renewed the operation system operating system for this machine it now has the version 1.30 um, and ever since I did that the value didn't give me any trouble the value dial didn't give me any trouble anymore so this problem is definitely solved as you can see and you you will see later on when I'm doing the comparison stuff that no more changes in value will occur okay so um, I try to find a couple of sounds that should demonstrate the difference in sound but um, I realized that this difference is just very very hard uh, it is hardly noticeable so if you want to know the difference in sound um, I suggest you use your headphones I am using mine at the moment and uh, even when you are using headphones the difference is is really almost not noticeable um, I'm going to start out by demonstrating a couple of bass sounds and uh, then a couple more drums and a bit of orchestral stuff and maybe some more a bit more brighter stuff after that and uh, well you decide for yourself um, going to turn the microphone off and then begin with the comparison Okay, the level I was using is a bit too high. <laughs> Have to turn it down. Okay, that's better.
Okay, by the way, the effects are turned off on both of these machines. I'm going to show you this. MFX, chorus, reverb, it's all off. And also here, I have all the effects turned off. So the reverb that you're hearing doesn't come from the internal effects processors. That must have something to do with the way these samples were recorded. Okay, just so that you know. Maybe one more time. Okay, um, next I want to demonstrate some um, orchestral stuff. Let's see, where don't know really where. Okay, that must be C46, let's see, C46, and by the way, as you just... Um, as you've noticed, when you push the value dial, then that's the accelerate function. And also, this works perfectly on the 5080 as well. So, that's really not a problem anymore. Okay, film layers. I really like these kinds of sounds. Uh, okay, but listen for yourself. Okay, I think that's um, that's enough for now. Um, uh, I could go on for hours um, trying to 
find out uh, more differences in sound and um, maybe there are some of you out there who know a bit more than I do about these two machines as far as uh, difference in sound. They use a different sampling rate, that's all I know, but um, I, in my opinion that's really hard to tell uh, when you're comparing these two. Um, I wouldn't dare to say that I could keep them both apart if I didn't know what machine was playing. Um, okay, I hope that was a bit interesting and see you next time. Thank you, bye.